Hi brothers and sisters, I have three dreams I want to share with you. Two are from a couple days ago and one is from this morning. And I kind of took some time to pray over the two from a couple days ago before I shared. I wanted to make sure that um, I was sharing um, what the Lord wanted me to share, what, what he was revealing to me, what they meant. Okay, so the first dream I had, we, um, well, I was back in a house that I used to live in, and it was a two-story home, and we had an office upstairs. And in my dream, I had a husband who was working in this office, and um, he, uh, I walked in there with an attitude. I had an attitude in this dream, and I walked in there, and he was working, and I told him, I want to spend time with you now kind of attitude like a little child now 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 attitude and he was looking down at his desk and he looked up at me and I remember thinking oh no he's about to get really angry at me but in my dream I was shocked because I thought he was about to get mad at me but instead he looked at me with the sweetest gentlest expression and I I noticed that he had tears and he was welling up. He had tears in the bottoms of his, um, of his eyes. But he, where I thought he was going to get angry at me, he looked at me and he so sweetly said, I want to spend time with you. I do. I just have a little bit more work to do, okay? So let me finish. I'm almost done and then we'll do whatever you want. We'll spend all the time you want to together. Well, I kind of got huffy and puffy and walked out of the office and the dream was over with. So the Lord revealed to me the meaning behind this dream. And it's, it's a personal message to me. But if some of us are honest, and I don't, I'm not talking about all of us, but if a, some of us are honest, we'll admit that we have acted like this um, to our Lord. The now, now, now attitude. Jesus, I want you to come back now. Abba, Father, please send Jesus now. I want to go home now. And um, like in my dream, I expected him to get angry because I had this now attitude. But he, he, he didn't. He was so sweet and kind to me. Because he knows how I feel and he knows how we feel and he knows we want to go home. But I think the... Um, Heart that grieves him why he had the tears in his eyes is maybe I spend a, a little too much time questioning why he is not here yet or why Abba you haven't sent Jesus to take us home yet you know we're, we're ready to go home and I should be spending that more more of that time in in prayer for the lost in prayer for my brothers and sisters um, for those being persecuted, for the children around the world that are that are being hurt, and instead of um, questioning his timing on when Jesus is to return and get us, I need to have more faith that Jesus is coming soon, and God's timing is perfect, and maybe he's not maybe, and he's just telling me, calm down, Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is saying, I'm coming soon. I just have a little bit more work to do. I'm coming. Just let me finish this up. I still have some souls I'm bringing into the harvest. You know, I don't want to leave anybody behind. So, um, yeah, I, I, I know that that's exactly what it means. And I don't want to grieve my Lord and Savior. So, I raised my hand first. This was a personal message for me, but... Like I said, if a lot of us are honest with ourselves, we've do all done this. Most of us have. So that's the first dream. Okay, here's my second dream. And I had this the same early morning hours as I just had the with the first one I just shared. I was in a hardware store. And I walked past um, these rows uh, or shelves of gallons of paint. They're really high and really long gallons of paint. And then I walked into, just past that, after looking at all that, I walked into just another little area, a couple steps away, and there was a man in there, and he was my friend. We were really close. And he was in this large, huge, round vat, container-like thing. He was mixing paint. 
and the color was brown. And he was he was using all his muscles, and he had like this big ore, like almost like a boat ore he was using to mix this brown color together. And I could tell he was tired. And then he there was a platform next to this vat, and he just kind of leaned over on it. Like if you if you see somebody sitting at a table, sitting upright, and they get tired and they they stretch out their arm and then kind of lean to one side on their arm. That's what he did. He laid his head down, and his head was facing down on the platform. And I reached over, and I remember he had curly hair, and I never saw his face, but um, we were close in this dream. He, he, I'll go ahead and tell you that obviously he represents our Lord and Savior. But I touched the back of his curly hair, and I said, It's okay. Can't you take a break soon? You know, can't, after you're done mixing this paint, can't you take a break? And he answered me, not with his mouth, but in his mind, I understood he was telling me, no, I can't. I can't take a break right now. And then I woke up. And I asked the Lord yesterday, you know, you know what the brown paint means and, and what this means and that means. And he just started, right then and there, started telling me right away. All the different cans are many of us Christians. We are all divided in our own little cans, in our own little areas, our own little sections. And what he's doing, our Lord, over a couple of feet away, is trying to mix us all together. Because in my dream, like I said, it was brown paint. And I asked the Lord, brown paint, what is that? If you take all the different colors and all the do those different cans of paint in my dream that were on the shelf, or all the different colors of the rainbow, which the rainbow is um, God's sign and symbol and promise to us. All the primary colors and mix them together. They make brown. And that's what the Lord is struggling to do right now. He is just trying his hardest to get us to come together, to mix us together. And when he laid over on his arm and he was just tired, he is just tired of it. So many of us are just arguing right now. There's so much separation going on, and he's tired of it. But let me go back a little bit, because I looked up what brown meant biblically, and it represents wood. How interesting that first, Jesus Christ, under his father Joseph, was a carpenter working with wood, and this took place in a hardware store, this whole scene so, I mean, it kind of all goes together. But not only that, more importantly is Jesus died on the cross, a tree, wood, as our Lord and Savior. That's what he did for us. That's another what brown represents as well. But he was struggling to bring us together and these colors together, which were us. Like I said, he's tired of um, his body being separated. Think of your earthly body. Your arm hurts one day. Let's say you pulled a muscle in, in, in your right arm. You don't like the way it feels. But it's still part of your body. You don't treat it mean. It's part of your body. And there's too much division right now. Not one person has all the answers. We won't completely have all the answers till we get to heaven. So if... if we're out there and this person thinks they know everything about it. You don't. Not one person holds all the answers. Only our Heavenly Father does. And we'll know everything in completeness soon enough. So, yeah, that's my second dream. And that's the meaning behind it. And, and the most important part of the dream is that he just really is trying to bring us together. Bring all the different colors together, which are us. The body of Christ. Okay, now my third dream. It was a childhood friend that I haven't seen in years, but she was in my dream, and her name is Christy. It was me, and I had a baby in a carrier slash car seat. You know, the carrier slash car seats that you can take the small baby in or out. So I had that with the baby on my arm. And then I had, there were two other men there with us who were with us throughout this whole dream, but never said anything. 
and we were in this nice neighborhood and we were walking through this empty home i remember it had hardwood floors and no furniture and so we walked through this home the entry foyer we were just in the entryway and then we left and we went to a gas station and i went around to the back seat and i was fiddling with the baby's buckles getting getting the baby ready to go and making sure everything was uh, buckled up properly and I stood up and I saw Christy and the two men sitting at a picnic table way across the parking lot. And in my dream, there was a lady walking up to them and I knew it was a real estate agent. And I hollered out across the parking lot, we don't have an hour to sit here and talk to a real estate agent. I've got to get the baby home because it was dark. It was time to go. And so this is what I yelled out. And I went back to fiddling with the buckle, but there was a sense of urgency in my spirit in this dream. I'm talking an intense sense of urgency, like we got to go now. It's time. We got to leave now. Well, this real estate agent came walking across the parking lot to me, and I was still fiddling with the, the buckle for the baby. And she said, oh, you got to go. You're in a hurry. And I said, yeah, I got to get the baby home. And she said something like, um, oh, I thought it was because you knew that Jesus was coming soon. And I stood up out of the car and I said, do you believe that too? She's like, yeah. And then we all, we both got excited because we, you know, it's very rare. Like in our real world, when you meet somebody who believes the same as you, it's like an exciting feeling because most people out in the world turn you off when they hear this kind of stuff. Like they, as quick as they do a light switch, boom, you're off. Don't want to hear you. But we were just so excited talking about what we believed. And then the dream was over. So I asked the Lord to reveal to me, you know, more in detail what this meant. And first of all, I went and looked up what Christie's name meant, even though I, I pretty much had an idea. And it meant Christ or Christians. And the two guys that were with us, the two men that were always there but never said a thing. It's like they were always there just waiting or guardian angels, like guardian angels just waiting. And... um the new little babe, um, the babies, the children of God. And then I yelled across the parking lot while I was getting this baby ready to go home with this urgency. We don't have an hour to sit here and talk to a real estate agent. I've got to get the baby home. We got to go because we're about to go home. Brothers and sisters. Um, oh, and I, you know what? One other thing I want to share. I looked up, you know, what it meant to dream of a real estate agent. And I, this is just a funny little tidbit. It's not under a biblical website, but I'll share nonetheless. It says, um, dreaming of a real estate agent means you will soon have a pleasant change of surroundings. So that kind of hit home when I read that. Um, so I thought I'd share that little fun piece. But anyways... I, I asked the Lord for this dream last night because I see so many people who are grieved and worried that the Lord is delayed because there's just so much going on and so, so much being said. And I said, if there's any way I can help anybody, help encourage our, my brothers and sisters, Lord, please. So he gave me this dream. Jesus is not delayed. Abba's timing is perfect. He doesn't need to change the timing. His timing is always perfect. Jesus is coming for us soon. We might feel that there is a delay because we live in the flesh and by earthly time, but he is coming soon. That's why he gave me this dream. And that's why there was a sense of urgency. And that's why I was calling out to the Christians across the parking lot. We don't have an hour. Now, I don't mean literally an hour earthly time, but the time is short this is he answered my prayer when i gave when i asked for this dream because I, I didn't want people to believe this that the lord has been delayed no 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 god's timing is perfect jesus is coming soon stay ready okay brothers and sisters and if you don't know jesus as your lord and savior he, he's offering you a free gift he came and died on the cross to forgive us of our sins. And it is a free gift. And all you have to do is accept it. He loves you so much. And he wants to spend eternity with you in the most beautiful place that has been created just for us. God bless. And thanks for.